Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whichever applies to you. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Julia. I'm a contemporary singing specialist based in Australia. And today I am diving on into Floor Jansen's cover of Euphoria. So without further ado, let's get into it. Why? Why can't this moment last forevermore? Tonight, tonight eternity's an open door. No, don't ever stop doing the things you do. Don't go. In every breath I take, I'm breathing you. Okay. Okay. Otherwise, I'm just going to watch the whole thing through and just be like, yay, <laughs> the whole time. So I did go and listen to the original, the one that won Eurovision. I think her name is Lorene. I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right. I'm so sorry if I'm not. That's just how it reads to me looking at the the spelling of L-O-R-W-E-N. They've changed the vibe of it just a little bit, which is interesting because it's the same, it's the same song. Thus far, it's the same structure, but we definitely get more of that pop feeling when you listen and watch the original. I mean, absolute banger of a tune. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Listening to it, I'm like, yeah, I can understand why this one like took over the world a little bit. So yeah, there's these pop vibes in the original. And then in here we get the guitars and we get the strings and it to me it lends itself towards sounding almost a little bit more intense because the instrumentation and the arrangement in the instrumentation feels alive and I I quite like that that's not saying I didn't like the original because the original is an absolute banger don't get me wrong I enjoyed the original song but for live performances I do think that the arranging here lends itself to something that is like alive and dynamic. I feel more of that drive in this arrangement, but it could also just be because Floor's vocals are so dang impressive. <sighs> I don't think there's even much more for me to say on uh, Floor's voice at since I've reacted to her so frequently and been able to hear her voice in quite a few different applications. But something I'm enjoying she's doing here is her balance, not just the fact that she's producing a balanced tone, but that she's managing to move through so many different weights in her sound, but also use things like aspiration towards the top without it necessarily getting away from her. To me, these are incredibly connected vocalizations and I deeply appreciate that. Even going into the second verse, where we start to get a little bit of a growl, a little bit of a grit going on the bottom. I'm like, I'm amped. I'm amped for this chorus, but it's a phrase that particularly impressed me. Let me see if I can refine it was when she moved up through her range like it wasn't even a thing but if you are a singer you yeah you, you'll feel this phrase and what might be difficult about this phrase like in your bones because <laughs> she manages the dynamic perfectly she manages the weight perfectly she manages the tone change perfectly ending an aspiration at the top without disconnecting are you kidding me wow So all through there with those ascending passages, just beautiful. I hear the rolling, rolling, I 
on an open bow too. We are free where everything's allowed and love comes first. So we have more presence of sound through the second verse. We're getting a lot more of the warmth and depth to Floor's sound here, whereas in the beginning she starts a little bit lighter. I've noticed that Floor likes to use that as a vocal approach where she starts lighter and then really brings in the intensity where it's warranted. Some, I mean, some songs she's she's just 100, 100 Ks an hour out the gate. Don't get me wrong, but I've, I've noticed in a few of the songs I've watched of Floor, she'll start off lighter and then it's like, oh, you thought this was the limit? Burr, here we go. Here we go, we're building. We're, 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 we're doing the damn thing. darkness in the sound into that little growl yes 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 Ooh, higher and higher and higher for Oh my god, the connection necessary for those phrases. Let me look at the let me look at the pitch. Wow. Oh, where did the Okay, so B natural. <laughs> B natural is like <laughs> the note that picks on me and it's picked on me my entire life. <laughs> to the point where I will transpose a piece up or down a semitone just so I can avoid belting on a B natural. Maybe it just psychs me out. A lot of the, the tension things related to singing are just the way that we think about the process of it, to be honest. So maybe I'm just psyching myself out. No, I know I'm psyching myself out because there's no reason why you should be able to belt a C and not be able to belt a B natural. But yeah, her ease of access through here, the fact that she manages to maintain such a strong connection from the beginning of the phrase to the end, I'm not going to draw parallels between Floor and the original vocalist, between Floor and Loreen, because their approach to the belt and the overall style is a little bit different. Um, Loreen is using a very pop belt. Floor's belt is one that you hear a lot in the, in the things that she does with Nightwish, so this is something that she has to use consistently, and that's coming off of other vocalizations, which the necessity for that connection you just, you absolutely need it. Whereas sometimes in the pop belt, there are certain vocal timbres that are not necessarily the most efficient. And the only way you can achieve them is through certain uh, setups, which can be inefficient if you do them for a prolonged period of time. So I'm not going to do a comparison between those two because the goal and the overall style is different. Not to mention they are different vocalists. Laureen is Laureen. This is Floor. So there. Yeah. Just a note on the difference in the belting there. The original's going for that pop belt, so you'll probably hear a little bit more um, effort and this like brightness. It's almost like you're trying to match the uh, percussive and the percussive nature and the the brightness of some of the electronic sounds that are going on underneath her rendition of the song. Again, still a banger. Here, floor is very connected, but you'll notice the instrumentation behind floor is different, and this can encourage a different feeling and a different approach in what you want to do vocally. When she goes to do the staccato sections, which sound the most pop out of everything in this song, it sounds the most pop, you'll notice that they're short, sharp staccato phrases. And in that, Flora is in fact generating that uh, more pop pop sound in that, in that staccato there. A little bit brighter, a little bit more pressed. Anyway, uh, so anyway, let's continue. This belt is it's just an incredible. Oh, Oh, 
Oh god. Oh my god, the strings had me. <sighs> when the emptiness in the arrangement came through and then those strings and we had the build. Oh my god. I need to go back. I have to go back. Oh my god, she's amazing. A challenge for me would be to watch Floor Jensen singing something and just try to like keep my cool. <laughs> I don't think I could do it. Forever. From here, the arrangement's pretty empty. We've just got the piano and a few other sounds going on, but the vocals have also pulled back, but she hasn't dropped sort of that darker, a little bit more of a mature tone to her sound, which I really like because we get the softness, that approach without it sounding like nothing necessarily. If Floor wanted to do that, she would have. I've heard her do it in other songs, but I think it was a nice choice here because to me, it almost brings it back to something that sounds a little bit more intimate like something you might hope for in your in your heart oh god that sounds so cheesy but that's the feeling that i get from this arrangement being pulled back and her vocal decision uh, we sail into infinity mm, we're higher we're reaching for divinity The, the placement shifts on that E as she's ascending. Sweet. Mm. So between that E and this E, the first E has a little bit more space at the back, and then she's starting to narrow as she goes forward, but not to the point where it sounds overly pressed. But we do hear slowly, the, uh, I guess you could say like the breadth, the breadth of that sound becomes narrower in the colors that you can hear as she's ascending this is oh it's just his textbook jesus reaching for divinity The power in her vowel when she is belting is just insane. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so a lot of Floor's belting strength comes from the vowel. It's not just where you place it and how resonant it is, it's do you have the stamina to maintain that placement and breath flow to keep those vocal qualities going there? Do you know what your tongue and your jaw want to do if you are to ascend and keep those qualities there? This is, oh, it's, I keep saying it every time, but Floor sings and I hear her experience and practice and the time she's put into the development of her sound. I, yeah, she could belt forever. <sighs> Anyways, I think I've spoken to everything that I kind of wanted to speak to. Some of her phrasing, the way that she's able to navigate ascending passages without any sign of struggle or effort, it's just support and balance and connection as she ascends. Those tiny little decisions you can hear her making depending on where she is in her range and what sounds she wants to generate. And her belt, oh my, my goodness. Now this is not necessarily a belt that's going to suit every single style on the planet. So I kind of love the fact that they modified the arrangement and made it a little bit more like orchestral intense. Not orchestral, there's not a full orchestra there, but you know, you had more of your acoustic instruments playing a 
playing a role as well as the electric guitars and other sounds which we associate with arrangements that Floor does with other groups and often with the covers that she does from other artists. So I like this consistency with at least, I don't know, the intensity, the intention of the cover. Like to me, this was epic. This is absolutely epic. I just want to giggle like a, like a, like a little fangirl, to be honest. Um, yeah. Anyways, that's where I'm going to leave that one today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed that one as much as I did, please give this video a like, click the subscribe button and the bell notification beside it for more just like this one. As usual, I hope you're staying safe. I hope you are staying healthy and I will see you next time. Bye.